Hi everyone, it's Neil from Serious Cricket here. I'm delighted to be joined by Dave Cannon um, from Gun & More. He's the UK National Sales and Business Development Manager. I think he's got a promotion since last time we spoke, a year yeah, ago. Yeah. Um, must be down to these videos, Dave. Uh, it's definitely down to these videos. So, really excited uh, to be joined by Dave and he's brought with him the brand new range for 2023. I'm going to be talking through with him what's new, what's come into the range, what's stayed in the range. So we're going to get straight in and I'm going to ask you, Dave, um, probably starting over on this side, going into 2023, your bat range for next year. What, what, we've got four here, what stayed the same? Right, so the diamond, which is the Ben Stokes bat, has stayed as it was. It had a facelift last year for the first time in four years. So that's now looking sharp. Um, the bat itself hasn't changed in profile. Um, running that through for the next, I think, let's read it this way. While Ben's still using gun and more bats, while Ben's still playing, he'll use a diamond. And I guess the only things that have changed is, since last year, he's now test captain. We've started winning. Exactly. You, you, a bit more cavalier. A bit more cavalier style. I was going to say, hopefully. So no need to change what's working. No, nah, exactly. Okay. He's back playing 2020 cricket as well. So yep. hopefully making an impact on that front as well. Yep. Um, we're also carrying on with the Spark. This was introduced last year uh, and the Prima. All three of these are our 540 profile. So these are the shorter blade with the longer handle bats. Yep. So we've kept those going. They give um, a well, just on that slightly shorter blade, they give a slightly bit lighter pickup. Slightly like to balance. pick up, actually it's faster bat speed. Okay. Now, if you're a pro, it probably makes difference. If you're me playing on a Sunday against a dog and duck, probably not. Um, the, clue, but, the clue there's the duck part of the, uh, <laughs> of, the, of the team. Well, yeah, from opening down to number 10, that's not a bad go, that's no, not a bad There's only one is place it? left to go. <laughs> on that then, we move to the final one, which so the Radon, the Radon is our bat where basically we don't let anything go to waste. All of the willow that we bring in ourselves, um, we turn into a cricket bat. If we're not happy with visually what it looks like, yeah. or it may have a knot in it, and if it's got a knot, we'll fill it. Um, that said, there could be some willow under there, which is LE quality, yeah. but because it's got uh, a, a few blemishes, a, a few blemishes and, and a knot that we filled in, it'll be covered and we'll call it a Radon. So, and, and that has proved to be a really good entry entry level oh, point. Oh yes, exactly. It gives you great in the Gunnamore range. It gives you a great price point from you know not top end, but something else. Exactly. Um, if you're looking for a bat more on a budget, probably exactly. a good, good starting point. Yeah. Oh, it's a wonderful starting point, and it's durable. Okay. Like we put a good good quality uh, cover on it. We paint the back, uh, but actually that means you don't need to worry about oil in it, etc. So yeah, very durable bat. So we, we have done some individual reviews um, on those bats, which you can see, and the, the link will be here. Um, so they're the bats from 2022 that are going into 2023. Um, now I'm really excited because it's at this point where we get the first glimpse of the 2023 new bats Thanks. that you've brought in. Um, so let's spend some time talking about the bat. We're gonna go straight in with the Hyper. The Hyper. So the Hyper has basically replaced the, the Noir that we had in the range. The Noir was the bat with the bat, black stickers. As you can see, actually this has got the black stickers, but with some funky uh, graphics added to them just to lift it slightly. Still a low middle. Uh, we've got a, um, it's a full L555 blade, which means it's a full length blade with a traditional short handle in it. Um, very much suited to the wickets we tend to have across the country, unless you're playing at a very good level. Bouncy wickets in this country isn't something we're renowned for. It's not like playing in Perth. Mm. Um, so uh, having a bat with a low middle uh, suits a lot of people. Um, we're looking at that and thinking that's going to be a very, very popular bat this year. Um, and that will come in all, all, all Comes in all grades. So from an LE down to 404, and we're running it in junior sizes. So we'll be taking it down in 404 grade in the juniors, all the way down to size three. I think as I'm, as I'm just spinning this round so people can get the full, uh, I guess, imagery of the, the graphics that do stand out. They, oh, do, exactly. they do pop out at you. It, yeah. I think for those people that have had a noir in the past, it's probably an uplift in terms of color into, yes. the, into the black. Definitely. Um, 
From a distance, it pops out a little bit sort of 3D style, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. The other thing you have got with that is the fact that we're going for all of our profiles now, or, or most of our profiles, are a full profile. So less concaving on the back, more wood in the back. Uh, the more wood you've got, obviously, the more power there is yeah. um, in the striking zone. So, and, and what players might we expect to see using this in 2023 I, across I the world? I would expect the local lad, yep. James Vince, will probably be using the Hyper. Um, Possibly a couple of others, not too sure at the moment. Uh, we'll be looking at that as we look at test teams going forward, who's picked for what, uh, and allocating uh, new bats to the players as, as we go through. So watch this space, but- More to come then. Just one for yourself, James Vince. Hyper. Yeah, we like James Finns around here. So. Oh, no. And it's great to see him call back up into the England ODI squad for yeah. the next series. So. Moving on, we've now got the, the Krios, not the Nick Krios not, from not Australia. Him. No, no, this isn't a uh, Australian... A tennis bat, it's no, a racket. Either. No, no, it's not a bat for people who... Well, it could be a bat for people who have a bit of uh, uh, aggro. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, don't like authority. So um, let's come... Let, I, I like the look of this, <laughs> <laughs> so don't put me on. What, 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 what are you going to tell me about the Krios? Where so, does this come from? How's this been born? What's it all about? So the Krios, the, Krios, the look of the Krios, basically what we did... Uh, let's just say a couple of nosy reps saw a sticker and thought that looks really, really good. Um, and actually, seeing it on a bat, it stands out. I think it looks class. That's that's my opinion. Yeah. Um, the silver with the white key line going around the outside. We're back to a 540 blade, mm. so shorter blade, longer handle. What we've got is a flattened toe on this. Phraseology, duck build if you want, mm -hmm. but we've gone into the flattened toe on the back. Um, but once again, with a fuller um, profile. These very much, this and the Hyper are very, very similar to what the players use. Mm. Um, we're now, so rather than trying to build bats around uh, weight, which seems to be, um, we've always worked on, a, on pickup. Our attitude is it's the feel of the bat, mm. not dead scale weight. But actually with that, what we're trying to do is give people more of what the players use as well. So shaping as the player, various players have have their bats shaped. Um, I, I mean, uh, just purely going on colourways, I really like the look of that. I think it's stylish. I think it looks smart. I think silver and white, you can't go too wrong. I exactly. think it's a good classic styling. Um, so from a visual aspect, I think it looks brilliant. Yeah. Um, we will also, within these new bats, be doing in individual reviews on each bat, which you're kindly going to um, give us one each to try, which yeah. is going to be good fun later on. Um, so we've got the Hyper now, we've got the, any players using the Krios? Uh, once again, watch this space, as soon as I know, we'll let you know and you can put something on the website so people can follow who's using what. He used to give more away than this, I'm sure. Now he's got his new job, he's, he's a bit <laughs> more under, under wraps. Right, moving into the final bat for uh, 2023, yeah. uh, the Brava. Now, the Brava, slight change of, um, of what we're doing. All of the bats, all the other bats you see here have a what we call an F4.5 uh, face. Now that means it's rolled. If you take the middle point of the bat and drop down to the edge, there's a 4.5 mil drop from middle to edge. That's how it rolls. Uh, in the old days, our bats used to be seven mil mm. drop, so very, very much a drop down to the edge. Um, a few years ago, we introduced F2, and F2 was basically a flat face. So we thought we'd try that again. What a flat, flat face does gives you a bigger edge. Okay. So the Brava is an F2 face, so we've gone back to a flat face for this one. Gives you a bigger profile on the edge. Um, not only that, we've gone into the classy stickers. Um, this is a traditional with a 555 blade, and once again, a full profile on the back. So you've actually got plenty of meat there mm. to play your shots. So, so, it's, so for, for those at home, that might have just slightly lost the technical side of things and can try and put this in simple plain yeah. English. What you're talking about is from the midpoint of the bat yeah. to out to the edges that you you previously when you're rolling it, yeah. you'd have a slight curvature yeah. throughout the bat, wouldn't you? Yeah. What you're now saying in this Brava, which is new for this year, it's and you can see it to be fair. If I get that side on, that's very flat. Um compared to a... Let's, yeah, let's hold that one up it. and see if you can compare it to that. Yeah, can you see? You should be able to see. There's a, you can see there's the slight difference the in curvature. Actually, if we turn it towards the end, you've probably got even more of an idea if you look on the end. Yeah. 
And, 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 and what do you, what, what, what sort of performance differences would you see in that? Is it uh, marginal? It's, or? it's not so much performance, it's actual feel of having a bigger bat. Okay. So actually what it's doing, it's obviously if we drop it, we're cutting the face as we do it. Yes. So you're losing two and a half mil on these bats of wood that yeah. you've now got in that. I mean, these edges do look pretty big. Yeah, you? exactly. It's, it's a trend. Yeah. Um, things do go full circle. I can take you back to the factory and um, we have a bat up there from 1950, mm. which has an edge which can't be any bigger than that. Yeah. Like literally we are talking an edge which can't be any more than a centimetre. Yeah. Um, and the weight of the bat is about two pound, three and a half. It's used by uh, a bloke called Reg Simpson as his test match bat. He used it in test matches in the Ashes in the 1950s in Australia and scored 156 with it. Perfect. Nowadays, you'd bring out something like that and everybody goes, we can't use that. Yeah, there's nothing to it. I knew you'd bring with you a history lesson. <laughs> which is but even then, so, actually, no more than 20 odd years ago, the edges on the bats that Vaughan and Triscothic used yeah, were, were more thinner. traditional. Well, they used to be in the purest and That's it. The, there was an orange one, Triscothic. That was, that was the hero. The hero. And the Maxi. Hero, and, the, so, the hero and Maxi, yeah. purest and icons. That was the ones. They were the two. I remember those days. Right, exactly. so the Brava, I, again, I like, I like the colourways. I think the navy, there's a touch of gold in there. Yeah. You've got that in the it's grip classy. as well. Does look smart, does look classy, exactly. definitely big edges. I, I like the fact it's slightly different, it just gives yeah. you something new into the range. Exactly, we're, try, we're trying to cater for everybody. So you're definitely doing that. Seven different bat styles, that's quite yep. a lot, plenty of choice for plenty people. Plenty of choice, I will point out that the Brava only comes in three grades. Okay. So we're only doing a 606, 808 and original LE. Let, let, let's. Now that we've briefly touched on all the range, yep. it is great to see it in its all glo in its glory. And we'll, as I said, we will be reviewing each of these individually. So for further details on each specific bat, uh, we will be doing some specific reviews. So take a look at those. You'll get all the details and all the technical specs and performances, and maybe even us having a go with them um, on their individual on individual reviews. Um, before we finish, though, yep. I, I think it's probably important to. Whilst we can see the range, you've also made some changes behind the scenes for 2023 and how you choose your willow and, and where it comes yeah, from. Yeah, uh, basically, um, back in the day, uh, we, like most people, went to a willow merchant and we were reliant on them supplying. Uh, over the years, we've, we've increased and increased and increased our supply of finding the willow ourselves. Mm -hmm. So everything we now bring in is brought in as a tree. Um, or a tree trunk. Um, we're continually sourcing uh, the willow um, and everything is now done on site. So trees come in as a, as a full tree, uh, they're sawn up in the yard into rounds, they're split by us, um, they're then um, seasoned by ourselves. Um, we have our own uh, seasoning chamber uh, where we or drying chamber so we we dry all the willow ourselves uh, we have climate rooms up there for keeping so once you've dried the willow you need to keep it somewhere where it isn't going to pick up any extra moisture so we have rooms where we keep everything so everything is dried to a, a specific percentage so that we get the most out of the bat um, we have to walk a very fine line between a bat that's durable mm. but plays well and that's what we're doing doing all of that in nottingham nowadays well i'd say also what you've probably achieved is you you you've, you've now got a, a a really good bat range yep. that where you're going from almost from tree to clay oh, exactly. to, to to actual bat yep. so the yep. whole manufacturing process now done in the uk on site with the guys up, up in, in, nottingham. in the factory yep. in the nottingham 18, 1885 we started 140 odd years later and uh, we're still going strong still making so, good bats so exactly. um dave look th thanks for coming in um and a huge thanks to to all your team up in nottingham for oh, producing pleasure. what looks like a fantastic new range for 2023 so um if you've liked what you've seen make sure you click the like button and subscribe to our channels for more information as i said we'll also be reviewing these bats individually to give you all the details that you need prior to making any purchases ready for next season Dave, thanks again for your time. Thanks, Neil. Guys. Good luck for the season. See you all soon.